the screen this season. And actress uh, Kristen Stewart has a new gig. Courtney, standing by with your Hollywood headlines. Yep, on the that's red right, carpet. guys. Okay, so we're going to take a little stroll down the red carpet. Okay. We've got Coldplay, who held a musical tribute to a storm soaked city. I'm dreaming of when I get back to Houston. Houston, of course, is on everyone's mind, especially uh, Coldplay. The band had to cancel a show there as Hurricane Harvey approached. So on Monday night in Miami, they performed a new song that they wrote for the flooded city, calling it One Off and saying, quote, we will never play this again. Well, British actor Patrick Stewart is getting an award named for an American film icon. The star of the stage in both big and small screens is set to receive the Gregory Peck Award for Excellence in Cinema at the 16th Annual San Diego International Film Festival. Now, Stewart will pick up his prize October 5th at the festival's Variety Night of Stars during that tribute. And Liam Neeson is Deep Throat, the code name for the FBI special agent turned Watergate whistleblower and Mark Felt, the man who brought down the White House. The first trailer just hit the web, and the film details the inside story of what made Felt risk everything to become a secret informant. That movie hits theaters September 29th. And actress Kristen Stewart's latest starring role is with Chanel in a new advertising campaign for their new Gabrielle perfume. It's the French luxury brand's first fragrance launch in 15 years. The promotional video, directed by Raymond Ledwich, uh, features Stewart running through exploding lights in the song Running by Beyonce. That promotional video will be officially released on Friday. And the stars were out for the Los Angeles premiere of the new romantic comedy Home Again. Life gets complicated for Reese Witherspoon's newly single character Alice when she lets three young guys crash in her guest house. Home Again <laughs> hits theaters on September 8th. What could go wrong? What could, go, right? what could, what could possibly, possibly go, go wrong? wrong? Exactly. <laughs> and Mr. George Clooney's new movie, Suburbicon, will be part of the uh, year's competition at the 74th Annual Venice Film Festival. Mr. Clooney directed the dark film starring Matt Damon and Julianne Moore. A seemingly idyllic town is hiding a disturbing truth that begins to unravel. The film gets released in October. Guys, that are your, your Hollywood headlines. How does he have time to make a movie? He is the father of twins. <laughs> <laughs> right? Right?